Okay, we're in the kitchen for this one. You've done your calculations, you know how many calories you're supposed to be eating, but you don't know how to know if you're eating the right amount of calories. So this video is for you. Little analogy for you. If you were driving on a motorway, you didn't have a speedo, you could kind of guess the right speed that you're gonna be at by the feel of it, looking round, you know, you can see what speed all the cars are going, and you could probably hit 70 mile an hour and not get in trouble and not be too far off. Now, tracking calories is the same as having a speedo and looking down and roughly knowing how, many, how much speed you're doing and being, being accurate with it. Now, there's loads of ways of getting into a calorie deficit. You can estimate how many calories you're eating. You can just simply eat less foods. You can intermittent fast. You can do loads of other things too. Uh, so you don't need to track, but tracking is gonna be the most accurate, like being on the motorway and looking at your speedo. So the best way to do this, and this video is about what is tracking. Bring you down here to my bowl. So I've got a bowl. I'm putting it on the scales. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna just hit zero, okay? I'm gonna put the food in the bowl and I'm gonna weigh it. So this is um, oats. I'm gonna add some blueberries in. So I hit zero. I want 50 gram. There's 50 gram. I then go over to my fitness pal. I type in 50 gram of blueberries or whatever the food is that you've just had. You add that in. Other options are you can scan barcodes. So the barcode was on the back of the oats. You just quickly scan it. Dead, dead simple. Some foods you can just put one of. So for example, a protein bar, I can just scan the barcode and it'll just go in as one of and I'll give you the calories for it. And if I'm not able to weigh, I can just guess. But again, you could be literally miles out with that guess. So it's better to weigh first of all. So that is what is tracking. The idea is you either scan the barcode, you put it on the scales and you type it into MyFitnessPal or some other app like that.